Alright, so as I'm walking back along this this uh, shoreline, I just thought I'd take a little video of it. I think it's so beautiful. Sure, it's a little dark out, but some of it picks up, so I'll go with that. They're just trying to get over these rocks. There's just uh, such an untamed appeal to the way this all looks. Um, what is that? Of course, it's not untamed. There's there's metal pieces and footprints, glass. So there's a lot that's been touched by man. That looks like a some kind of metal piece. I have to wonder if uh, there's some kind of factory over here or something. But as I hug the shore, it makes me think of Minecraft a little bit. Actually, what really dawned on me is uh, sandstone I walked by. It was uh, something I don't normally see back in Wisconsin. But it's pre prevalent around here. It's how all this how all this is just collapsing. The sandstone isn't enough to hold it into place. So all this vegetation collapses. So you don't see that in Minecraft. That'd be interesting if the blocks periodically just fell on their own. <clears throat> but yeah, it uh, makes sense that you could mine, you have to mine the sandstone with a shovel instead of a pickaxe. I think that the uh, the developer Notch probably took some geology courses before he really engaged in with the game. <laughs> I just, I really never studied rocks or the features of sediment before, but all of a sudden when I walked up to that sandstone, which is down further here, started playing with it a little bit. It, it looked kind of dangerous because there's an overhang, look like some some more dirt could collapse on me or something up above but I, I just wanted to <clears throat> see what it felt like and it, yeah it was, I could write into the sandstone I could write my name or something actually other people have but it took it takes a uh, keen education to have come up with the idea for minecraft where you you understand how the uh, the features of the land interact with each other. You'd have to really get out there and learn all that stuff. Sandstone, that's not everywhere. I don't really see that too much. It's it's buried like in the game. You, you tend not to see sandstone unless if it's underneath sand. And the only way this sandstone got revealed, which this is some sandstone here, is by the water, by the, the land falling down into this water. And I was thinking about that too. It's like, this water is up to here. It is 20 feet out, like, like, like two nights ago. It uh, rises and falls every day on a daily basis. I was out there 20 feet before, kicking barnacles off the rock, <laughs> wondering what they're, how they're going to survive. But now I could see that the water has come up and covered them. My seagulls take advantage of that. You see a lot of these shells on the on the, the sand, the shore. The seagulls, and you see like little clumps. Yeah, like this clump right here. You can see that. That little clump, they don't just come up to the shore on their own. Seagulls will actively grab them and, and fly them over to, the, to over here so they can start picking at them. Yeah, they don't. Those clams have a, a happy medium, a happy medium type of distance. They don't want to be too, out, too far out into the, <clears throat> into the, the inlet of the lake. And they don't they don't want to be too far towards the shore. There's like a a happy medium in balancing out with this. But they're they they seem to grow so fast. They're very they're like there's a huge pile of all these various it's kinda deep too. All these various shells. 
people will come out and pick these little shells, clam, clam diggers. Oh uh, yeah, this well this is the sandstone I was looking at up here. Yeah, you could start digging a hole right in there if you wanted to. It's it's uh it's a lot different than the game of Minecraft though. Yeah, somebody wrote their name right in there. You can see that letter A G A. <clears throat> That's that's what uh, makes Minecraft so unique. It uh, is a learning advice, a learning aid. So I wouldn't have bridged the gap between Minecraft and and this and this sandstone. I wouldn't have really given the sandstone as much thought as I'm like, wow, you know, I used to just playing in the the game. I used to mine this stuff. It was kind of a hassle. No, actually, wow, I'm mistaken. I use pickaxe for sandstone not a shovel this stuff is hard enough it's just really it doesn't take many strikes to get to break it but as you can see this this ledge is falling down and it's been falling and just clumps all over and it's all because of the rise and fall of this water it, it makes me a uh, I, I'm not too nervous but it's like yeah this this water is, is still rising. I don't want to venture out too far and be caught with uh, nowhere to walk. I'd have to climb through the woods to get out if this water rose too fast, too too fast, too soon. Uh, but that's it. Yep, I'm gonna stop here.